my family, we moved to Chicago in August of 1919. This was a month after the famous race ride, but that did not deter people like my father and mother from bringing their families north. They came for three principal reasons. To be able to fight back if they were attacked, to be able to vote, and to be able to have a better education for their children. In that area, what uh, Robert Abbott calls the Black Belt, and which Sinclair Drake labeled as uh, Bronzeville, and which most uh, Caucasians and they call it the ghetto, the Black Ghetto, in that neighborhood, in that community, everything that I could want was there. It was like a little city within a city. You had independent, parallel institutions, parallel economic, parallel religious, parallel political. Your father and your mother might work outside, but they would come back in the neighborhood to spend whatever money they had to spend. So the dollar actually turned around in the old black belt more than six times. So we felt a sense of independence. It was just, it was overcrowded. So it was sort of an optimism in the community. Though we lived in a period of the depression, we were not depressed. And, uh, we had a feeling that it was gonna be all right. 